Ever wondered how a simple URL can be used to inject malicious code in a web page without even touching the server? Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to do it and safeguards against it. Let's get started. As per the challenge page of Website Security Academy, this lab contains DOM based access vulnerability in the search blog functionality. Call alert function to solve the lab. Pretty simple and easy. Click on assess the lab. When try to find cross site scripting vulnerability, we generally use this greater than, less than, and some text between them. Script. Click on search. No response. Time to check the source code. Scroll down to check the script. And here you can see inner.html. In browsers, injected script tags via inner.html often get sanitized or ignored. The browser parses it but doesn't execute the script. Let's check whether it is sanitized or not. Get back to the blog page and type script alert script within the brackets perfect code click on search mm. no response let's check source code again it has been sanitized get back to the blog page to trigger and to solve the lab you can use image or svg tag with event handler like on error these tags can run JavaScript when they are added to the page using inner HTML. This type of vulnerability is actually very common nowadays. Tap on search. Perfect. Code successfully executed. Click on OK and it's done. Congratulations, you solved the lab. To safeguard against document object model or DOM accesses. Number one, avoid using inner HTML for user input. Number two, sanitize input using a library. Number three, use text content or create text nodes. Thanks for watching.